just telling Eric about the corn here. This is that late season corn planted for harvest in September. But, uh, and I'm gonna weed it, right? But look how green it is, it's coming up green. The only thing I've added here lately is wood ash, which is a good fertilizer in, in uh, if you use a little bit of it. But I put manure on this field maybe five years ago. So I'm still reaping some of the benefits of the organic matter and the organic fertilizer five years later. The, the difference between, of course, organic and chemical, the chemicals only last for a few months or a few weeks and the water and everything washes them away. They actually burn the soil a little bit. They burn the, the microbes in the soil, the plant, uh, the life in the soil gets burnt and it gets eliminated so that it cannot do its thing. You know, the microbes in the soil right now are making more fertilizer by consuming things. They're consuming some of the animal manures and they're consuming some of the, uh, you know, some of these weeds actually I'm using as manure. You know, when I, when I put these weeds back in the ground, the pigweed is a very good manure crop. It's a green manure crop because it has a deep root. It's pulling subsoil minerals up and nutrition and it's being laid back down as a plant organic plant material for the microbes and things to digest later so you can use weeds as your cover crop or manure crop just make sure you know when your weed is going to be going to seed and you've got to beat the seeds you can never let it go to seed okay and it takes a while but all of a sudden there's seeds there's weed seeds everywhere and you've just ruined your whole next year or two because you've let the seeds come out